Protect your privacy online with the best VPN for gaming, ExpressVPN. And visit expressvpn.com slash gillymaster linked in the description to find out how you can get three months free. Rockstar have been busy changing things behind the scenes lately in GT Online. As an example, just look at all the changes that were made to the Kyrie Preco heist with the latest update. None of those changes were documented in the patch notes. They were all found by the community. Well, today I have some pretty big changes to talk to you guys about pertaining to the yacht defenses, the cruise missiles on the submarine, and the drones. First of all, both the drones and the cruise missiles seem to have been broken by a recent background script update. Sometimes when you try to go use the missile in the submarine, when you sit down and hit the A button, nothing happens. It's not that you press the A button and the game has trouble spawning it in like what used to happen with the drone, just nothing happens at all, it's just unresponsive, it's like you never pressed anything at all. And the same thing happens with the drones in the terabyte, it'll just not launch when you press the button to do so. I've heard this complaint from multiple people lately, and I've even witnessed it from multiple people, and I don't think this was caused by the initial patch of the LS Tuners update because I only started noticing this recently, like in the past week or so, and as of now I'm not sure what causes this to happen, it seems to just be random. But this is kind of a big deal because the only way that I managed to get the drones and missiles working again was to completely close my application and relaunch the game, not even going back to single player worked. Another big change that Rockstar have made was to the yacht defenses, they got a big buff to them. What you're seeing is gameplay before the LS Tuners update, I have the yacht defenses turned on, and notice the cruise missile flying around the yacht even with the defenses turned on. If he wanted to, he could blow us all up despite the defenses being on. If we then transfer over to current day GT Online after the LS Tuners update, this is what happens to a missile when it gets in range of the yacht defenses. Cruise missiles are now targeted by the yacht defenses, and I'm not sure if this was a change that was implemented directly with the tuners update or a later background update, but it was something that I have complained about a few times. I always thought it was stupid how you could get blown up on your yacht by the missiles while you have the defenses on, so I'm very glad this change was made. And unlike other weapons or vehicles that get in range of the defenses, the missiles seem to just blow up on their own rather than getting hit by the defense weapons, because normally you see the defenses actually shoot and you can hear them very loudly, but in this case that doesn't happen, the missile just blows up. So if a missile manages to get in range of the defenses while they're on, there's kind of no escaping, the missile's pretty much dead. This however does not change the tactic where people park the submarine next to their own yacht while the defenses are on. You can still shoot missiles next to your own yacht with the defenses on and use it that way. The only thing is that if another player is using this exact same strat, neither of you will be able to kill each other because the defenses will shoot down each other's missiles. So in that regard, the only way to take down a submarine that's abusing this tactic is to use either the orbital cannon or the sparrow from a distance which is immune to yacht defenses. I personally think that the submarine yacht defense tactic should not be a thing, especially after this change to the defenses. Don't get me wrong, this is an absolutely positive change for the yacht, but you should not be able to fire missiles if the defenses are on. It just goes against the game logic and doesn't make any sense at all. Let's take the Avenger for example and try to use this same strat. If your yacht defenses are off and your Avenger is near your yacht, you can shoot the cannons. However, the moment you turn the yacht defenses on, if you try to again use the Avenger cannons, you will be met with this message that reads, this turret station is unavailable when the Avenger is near your active yacht defenses. I think something like this is in order for the Kasatka as well, where if you try to use the cruise missile station while the defenses are on, it says a similar message. I can kind of understand why it doesn't work the same way as the Avenger does because the Kasatka can only go in the water and there's a lot of yachts around the map and if you assume that they all have their yacht defenses on, then the area where you could shoot cruise missiles from the Kasatka would be kind of small. But even if they were to disable the missile station while the defenses are on, that wouldn't make the yacht defense tactic terrible, it would just make it more a defensive strat rather than, hey let me just launch unlimited cruise missiles and you can't do anything about it because I have my yacht defenses on. It would then turn into a tactic where you're like, oh shit, there's an enemy coming over here, let me turn my defenses on so I can not die. And in the meantime, while you're protected, you won't be able to strike back either. That is not the only change to the yacht defenses though. Enemy drones can no longer shock you while the defenses are on as well. The shock will be instantly blocked by the defenses like any other bullet. I don't have any footage of this before the change, but I do recall getting shocked multiple times while the defenses are on. 
So another positive change there. Unfortunately, though, if someone has a drone, they can still blow it up to kill you with the defenses on. So I think some more changes are needed here. Drones that come into the range of the defenses should be treated like the cruise missiles where they just get instantly destroyed when in range. But this is a good start. And the same thing goes if you're on your own yacht and you try to use a drone, you're not going to be able to shock other players, but you can blow them up. And I know everyone is going to ask this, but no, the orbital cannon does not get blocked by the yacht defenses either with these recent changes, which is still very dumb. If you have yacht defenses on, nothing should be able to kill you on the yacht, especially not the orbital cannon. The whole point of the defenses is so that you can just chill on the outside of the yacht without having to worry about getting killed. The orb should be blocked by the defenses, especially because you spawn all the way across the map at a hospital after getting killed by it. Like, it wouldn't be too big of a deal if you respawned right back on the yacht, but it can get really annoying if you're just wanting to chill on the yacht and some griefer is like, oh, let me just orb these people having fun on their yacht, and then they spawn across the freaking map. So hopefully Rockstar does make it so that you can't get orbed on the yacht in the future, or even better, just remove it from the game. No one wants it. And the last two things that we tested about the defenses were the Avenger and the Terabyte, and these two I can't remember if they were blocked before, I'm sure someone will know in the comment section if they were, but yeah. Right now the Avenger cannons are blocked by the defenses as well as the Terabyte missiles, but like I said, I don't remember if they were blocked before, I just thought I would include it anyways, so people can confirm it in the comment section. But that is going to wrap up this video, some good changes all around aside from the fact that the drones and the cruise missiles are kind of bugged at the moment when you're trying to use them. The yacht defenses got a much needed buff, but more still needs to be done in my opinion. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. Huge thank you to all my channel members for support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.